Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. We are back in the garage today with the Mark 6. Um, so I've been pressured into this mod because I was being a bit rough last night with the car um, and I broke something on it. So on the rear here with the rear wiper, it focuses. Um, you can see it normally has a cap there, which is on the shelf here. Um, but I broke all the clips off the back of it um, because I was showing someone and then I decided to get a bit rough with it. Um, luckily, I had already planned on doing a rear wiper delete. So I have that kit right here. So we have our rear wiper delete, which is going to be good. Um, so once we get this in the car, it'll look a lot cleaner without the wiper on the back. Um, and then also I thought, paired with this video, let's do some window visors. So I picked up some um, new window visors in the box, obviously you can't see them, from Zero, uh, well, who are they? Zero Offsets. So these are the um, Team, um, what are they? Team Hecky ones. So these sit inside the glass. Excuse me, dropping everything. So there you go, they're wrapped in plastic. So these sit inside the glass rather than on the outside. So I'll just show you. So a lot of the kits like sit on the top of here, which is not really my preference because it really wears out your rubbers when you stick stuff on them because it sucks all the moisture out of it. So these ones actually sit underneath the glass and go all the way up and around um, and then sort of stick in. So um, you lower your windows down and you press them up in and then you just let them sit. Um, and I like to leave them for a couple of days uh, just to get the best fit on them. Um, I've already got them on the TCR, so let's just walk out here and I'll just show you. So, out here. So here's the TCR, sitting out all, all alone. So you can see over here, this one actually has them on there, but they sit inside the glass, not on the rubbers. So I've got them all around the whole car. Uh, obviously, uh, Mark 6 being a two-door, so we only need two pieces rather than four. Um, like you'd need on the TCR. So I'm going to get these unwrapped um, and we're going to get the rear wiper delete unwrapped as well and then we'll do the uh, window visors quickly because they're an easy easy fit um, and then we'll do the rear wiper delete after that. Alright, we've got our new insert piece here. Um, so this just goes straight up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down the window um, and unlock the car. So give me my token. Turn the accessory on. Oh. Alright, so I've got the ignition on so we can roll the window up and down. So the easiest way I find to fit these is to, um, you've got to take the tape off the front of here, so undo that so it's got a bit of a sticky adhesive to hold it in. Um, and then another piece in the back. These do, do actually come with like little clips um, that they recommend to put in, but I haven't put them in the TCR. And when I did put them on the TCR for like the brief minute that I had them in there, they actually scratched the window. So I decided that it's probably best that you don't use it. Um, so that's just my preference. So slip the back in first, and then bring your front up and around, and then under, and it should just slide right in. A little bit tight the first time you go, because uh, they are brand new. But once you get it in, it should be a pretty tight and snug fit. I'll just get these. Put up in. That's one side in, so you can see that all the way around, nice and looking. Um, and then you can just throw your window up now, which is what I'd recommend doing. Push this out a bit, there we go. Pop your window up, see where it gets stuck, and then now this will see the window gets stuck. So you just gotta work your way around here and work out where it's getting stuck and why it's getting stuck, which is fine. It happens when you first install them. Just a bit of a why not get them in right? Let's try again that window. Cool. Alright, so we can see now this is fully on. Looks real nice. 
Got to do a good job of um, keeping all the water out when you have your windows open. I'll just grab the camera. So, just from this angle, just add a little bit of extra element to the body. Um, and then we'll obviously do passenger, uh, sorry, driver's side as well. Um, but I just leave the windows up now for a couple of days. Just let it mold in so that it doesn't uh, move or anything like that. Um, and then you should be good to go. So let's do the other side and we will be done with that and then we'll move on to the rear wiper. And now it's up, just leave them. I like to leave them for a couple of days, just let it really sit in there um, and let it mold to the window as such. So, I mean, I wouldn't really give it too much heat or anything on them, uh, but just let it sit there and should be good to go. So we're gonna move on to the rear wiper delete. Let me pull everything out of the package um, and let's start disassembling. All right, so just check the size that we're gonna need. It's gonna be a 13 mil to undo the rear wiper. So we're just gonna crank this bad boy off. Um, and then, so this should come off fairly, like it shouldn't be on there very tight. You should pretty much just be able to pull it off with one crank and with this, and then with just your fingers. So the next bit is to get this off gently without breaking anything. So I generally recommend like a nice pry tool, um, plastic or metal. So I've got a couple of little tools here, as you can see. These should do the job. We'll try the plastic first, because obviously I like to be the most gentle as I can possibly be. Uh, but if we can't get it off with this, then we'll sort of step it up a little bit. So you generally just try and get underneath it. You can even just give it a yank, which sometimes will work, just shimmy it off. But I don't think it's going to work because this is... Oh no, here we go. So just give it a good shimmy, and the dust should come. Come on. So that comes off. So I just did a backwards and forwards rocking motion. Sometimes you do need a screwdriver. These are on pretty tight. And there is a spline here to get it off of. So whichever way works for you. But for me, I was able to shimmy this one off. It does leave a lot of shit come out of it. But for now, that's good. Um, we're going to open up the boot. Um, and we're going to pull out the motor. So let's do that. We're going to do... Where's my key? I'll just unlock the car again. going to have to remove some pieces of trim so this one here and then this one here so all right so um in here but now we're going to remove uh the rear clamshell so this piece right here um and then i've just taken out the covers for the lights just so that we can grab a bit of a grab handle and then underneath here it's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see but there's one screw on each side which we've got to undo which are torx bits so i will grab some screws now we're going to undo them um and then we are ready to go uh, looks like someone's already been in here and hasn't replaced the screws. So we can just pull that straight off. Um, but for you guys at home who might have one of pretty good screws in it, um, you're going to need to pull them off. And there we go. So, rear covers off. Um, I did leave none of the... Oh no, one clip behind. So that's still there. So I'll have to pull that out after um, and put that back in here before we keep going. Um, so let me... We can see that's the rear wiper motor. So. Um, around here again, we've got, I think these are 13 mil or 10. I can't remember off the top of my head, but we're just gonna unplug the, the rear motor before we do anything. So we'll just go like so. Well, there we go, cool. Made it a lot easier, that would come out. So give you a plastic bag as well to put around this, just in case you do get water in here, but for now I'm just gonna tuck it up behind that piece of wiring. Um, we're gonna grab our, I think they're actually 10, so we're gonna grab a 10 mil. So these are all 10 mil right here. We're gonna undo all the, it's gonna be the hardest one to get off because you're gonna have the, the motor like holding onto it. So we're just gonna jiggle it out. And then as you can see, that's the motor. I'll just zoom you guys back out again. So this is the motor. It probably weighs like half a kilo. So I mean, I guess it is. I'd count it as a bit of uh, weight saving. So if you're willing to get rid of it, I would. Um, and obviously you can see there, that's the spline that we were working with before. Um, and there, there's still a bit of a rubber grubbing up in there, so let me move the camera back to where we were. So, as you can see, there's still that rubber grommet there, which you should just be able to pull straight back out, or push forwards, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to go forwards, makes it easier. So, I'll just grab that piece of rubber. So, so that's the rubber grommet that came out of there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a bit of glass cleaner, and we're going to clean the towel, Bit onto the glass. We're just gonna give that a good wipe down before we glue it, because 
when you do the wipe or delete, it is like a sealant slash silicon, so you don't get water in the back of the car. So that's good there. And we'll just do the other side as well, just for good measure. Because, um, here, let me just show you guys. In the back of here, look at all the crud that's on the glass from when you remove the washer. So this is obviously an 11 year old car, so it's just all built up and shit from all over that time. And then as you can see here, I've already cleaned the back, so it's all good to go, ready to put a new one on. But the rear wiper actually sits on one, two, three studs. Got your plug. Once you remove that, now it's all open up and good to go. Me, for now, um, obviously it's just over time, like the, where it sat and the residue, so we're gonna reopen this back up. So, let's grab the rear wiper delete. I'm gonna open the package. So, here we have it. This is obviously the rear wiper delete by Killer Wipers, um, as you guys can see. So we'll snap this bad boy open. It comes in a nice Ziploc bag, which I'm actually gonna reuse. Um, when you open this up, you've got your wiper delete, which is just like this little black coin thing. Take, I'll take that sticker off, it's on the inside at any rate. You got your sealant tube, which is good. And what I threw on the floor before was the little nozzle that you're gonna need. So grab yourself your needle nose pliers or a pair of scissors and just chop the end of this off because you're going to need to open it up. So just chop that off so now you can see it's open. Um, and then once it's open we can go ahead and open up the tube so the tube actually comes sealed uh, which handily you've got a little pin prick on the end of the lid and then that'll just put a little hole in it. Um, I did have one kit that come before, well, in one car time um, and it came like the tube was already <laughs> rock hard. So if you get that, you can just go down to Bunnings or wherever and get yourself a, a set of like black sealant, um, any silic black silicon will do. So when you get it out of the packet, it'll look like this. It's got like a nice piece of white tape on it just to protect it while you put it in the car. So we're just gonna line, I'm just gonna put this down so it's easier for me to show you. So we're just gonna line the inside of this all around here. Um, so let me just pull this, down, cool. So you can see what I'm doing here now, right? So we're just gonna line all the way around the edge. And it wants to start coming out. Here it comes. So I, I won't be afraid of using more than enough to, to fill this. Because obviously I don't want water in my boots, so just go, go to town with it. So as you can see, heaps of silicon on that. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna move the camera while I'm trying to hold onto this silicon tube so it doesn't go everywhere. So let's click it back out. Zoom you back in. Back a little bit more. So you can see the hole. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw the badge up and into the hole. Just press it in. If you can see a nice like ring of glue around it, that's perfect. So that means you are got the thing in um, and it'll stay there um, and the glue is going to hold it up obviously. So what I do normally is I come and close the boot um, and then you can see now with the boot sort of closed, there's the rear wiper tab. So what I normally do, just to make it look a bit nicer, I just come around with the sealant and throw it on the top of the glass and go around, right around the edge. This sort of gets a bit messy, you will have to wipe this off as soon as you can, but sort of clean it as much as you can around the edge of the glass, because there's normally a little gap of, of a hole, and if you don't fill that with sealant, I mean, I'd be worried that it wouldn't um, seal properly. So on the TCR as well, I did this, just filled her up as much as I possibly could with sealant, and then I just wipe my finger around there, um, and then remove whatever residue we had. So I'm just gonna grab a towel that I don't really care about, so I got ourselves an old rag. So just grab your finger and then just wipe it around like that. Wipe it off and then just keep like working it into the surface of the rear wiper delete. Just be careful because this is still wet so the rear wiper delete can move. Um, I have pushed one of them out before when doing this so just make it very careful while you're doing this. Just make sure it's fully seated in the hole. If 
not going to come out. And then once you sort of get to this level where it's just like smeared, which I'm not sure if you can actually see what I'm doing anymore. Let me come back again. So it's all smeared around there. So what we're going to do now, when it wants to focus, not when I want to focus on. There you go. So now it's all smeared around. Just grab your glass cleaner again. Might be in the boot. Yeah. Grab your glass cleaner again, and we're going to get as much of this black stuff off now. Um, all right. So got the rear wiper delete in up there. Uh, we also have nice and clean on the top. I took the the white sticker off, so now you can't actually really see the rear wiper delete. It looks nice and clean. We're just going to throw the rear clamshell back on, which should be super simple. And we're just going to do what we did in the reverse. So we're just going to grab our piece of plastic again, flip it back upside down. We're going to line it up into the clip holes on the top. It'll be a bit of a pain now, but that'll be right. So once you line them up, it should just snap into place. Like that, all done. There's no like, nice real way to do it, you just got to sort of hit it real hard and go for it. So, throw that back in there. Cool. And then the last one, wherever I put it. This is what happens when you're working on the car and you put shit down. Uh, okay. Cool. Last one in. Done. Put the boot down. Rear wiper delete is now complete. So done. And then we open it up. As you can see, all back together. Nice, neat, easy. Yours will have probably two screws to put back in. Mine are missing. Obviously, someone's done something in the past in the boot and never put them back in. So uh, that's it. Um, rear wiper delete and the Team Heco side guards are done. So. Uh, any questions hit me up in the comments below but thank you guys for watching and that's been another video we'll catch you in the next one see ya